Good morning, everybody. This question I really answered in a previous video. But I'm going to answer it again. But at the bottom of this video, I'm going to provide a link to all my previous videos. If you want to look at them, like I said earlier, there are a lot of new subscribers and maybe you didn't see a video. But if you want to go back and check, you can go to all the videos. You can pick out whatever you want. So I'll provide that link. But on to his, his question. Hi, Dan First of all, it's from Noel Posca. Hi, Danny. I'm glad you're feeling better. It shows. My question is this. What can I do before basketing the birds to ensure that they have sufficient water during the race so that they don't have to land to get water? I've heard that some flyers are soaking safflower in the water for a period of time before they feed it to the pigeons. Will this help hydrate the pigeons or will it only harm them? Harm the pigeons. Thank you for your continuing to share your knowledge about pigeons. God knows you continue to help me and many flyers along the way. Well, no, let's think about it. Soaking the feed would add water to it. But let's think about how pigeons actually digest. When they eat grain, whether it be corn or safflower or anything, it goes in dry and solid. In order for it to digest, it has to soak and soften within the crop. Then it goes down the esophagus and into the digestive system and is digested. So I guess these guys are really defeating their purpose. If you fed your birds, let's say you're going to go down to the club at 7 o'clock and you know it's going to be hot the next day and you want to make sure that they got plenty of water. Feed the birds at 4 or 5 o'clock. That's not normally what I would do. I like to feed the birds 24 hours before I expect them home, but in this case Let's just say you could feed them at 4 or 5 o'clock. They're going to take a drink. And that drink is going to be absorbed into the feed. The, the moisture is going to go into it. It has to soften up for it to digest. But if you watered that bird again when you got to the club, He's going to take another drink. Now, in that previous video that I did, I explained that I made a special basket with like a dowel front so that the, I can carry the basket. I could put water in front and the pigeons, because they were accustomed to the basket, would actually reach through and take a good drink. I mean a good drink. It was also a half hour drive from my house to the club. And the birds got thirsty with the knocking around. So I don't think that you really have to soak the feed. I think you just got to be a little more intelligent and understand how the pigeons digest. Now, another thing I wouldn't do, and I made a note of it here, is not feed them pellets. Pellets uh, got a lot of salt in them. They do that to keep a preservative in them. And that would make the birds thirsty. So avoid pellets, avoid salts, no electrolytes before you ship the birds or anything like that. Just feed and water. I think that answers your question. 
Again, I'm going to tell you again at the bottom of this video, I'm going to provide a link to all my previous videos. If you're a new subscriber and you're really interested in some of the videos that we're doing, and I'm telling you the truth, I don't make any of this up. And you want to maybe double check to see a video that you may have missed, and there are probably many of them that, if you're a new subscriber, that you didn't see. So click on that link, it'll bring up all the previous videos. Okay, give it a thumbs up, give it a thumbs down. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe.